The UFC fans didn't give a damn if politics and the sport didn't matter when Conor McGregor got a title shot off of a Dennis Seaver victory. The UFC didn't care if politics didn't matter uh, when Conor McGregor fought Jose Aldo and didn't rematch him after a 13-second one-punch knockout. I mean, Conor McGregor knew right out of the gate that that fight was never going to happen again. Because one, he knew that he was never going to fight at featherweight again. And two, he knew that his performance would never be replicated. A 13-second knockout. That was what would launch him into superstardom. And it did. So it's a two-way street. To say that George St. Pierre doesn't deserve a title shot, George St. Pierre could could move up to heavyweight and would deserve just as much a title shot as as Curtis Blades or uh, Derek Lewis. Now, obviously, I'm over-exaggerating on that. But what I'm trying to say is there are certain fighters in this sport that have more clout than others based on their past accomplishments, based on what they've done. GSP, Connor, Brock Lesnar, Ronda Rousey, John Jones, those five names. They deserve the the ability to do whatever the hell they want. John Jones can test positive and he can come back after X amount of years. Ronda Rousey could crawl into a hole after her Holly Holm loss, come out of that hole and get an immediate title shot against another champion in the same weight class. Different fighter, different champion, but the same weight class and fighting Amanda Nunes. Conor McGregor can get title shots in weight divisions that he had never fought in in the UFC. Not once, but twice. Conor McGregor can get a title shot off of beating a 500 fighter in the UFC. That's what it is. That's what it is. George St. Pierre can get a title shot in any division that he wants, middleweight, welterweight, lightweight, based on the fact that he was the champion of the welterweight division for six years. And when you see the words, or when you see the letters known as UFC, George St. Pierre is one of the first guys that you think of. 100%. As is Connor. As is John Jones. As is Ronda Rousey. There was another name out there that I threw, but it slipped past my mind. Um, yeah, I was, was that four? Connor, Brock, John, Ronda. I said five. It was four. Maybe I mentioned a fifth one, but I can't remember who it was. Um, what I'm trying to say here is that this fight does make sense. Let's just look at it this way. What if Habib just throws Connor around like a rag doll, punches a hole in his head, punches a hole in his chest, whatever you want to call it, and just beats him down for 25 minutes or until Connor McGregor taps out, as I said earlier. Those are the two methods that Habib's got, and that's it. It's not knocking Connor out. There's no chance. That I can say confidently that there's no chance that Habib Nurmagomedov knocks out Connor McGregor. The only way he's going to beat him is if he takes him down, pushes him to the fence, and punches a hole in his head for 25 minutes or until Connor gives up. The chill sun and game plan, but Habib's a lot better at it. Not saying that Chill wasn't good at it, but Habib is undefeated, you know. So, let's just say, uh, let's just say that Habib wins this fight. The fight between Habib and GSP would be massive. Russia versus Canada. Canada, uh, their champion, former champion, the Russian champion, Habib be undefeated to the best offensive wrestlers 
in any in 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 the welterweight division or in the lightweight division. Beeb's always had trouble making weight uh, or cutting weight, making weight in some in some instances. I think one seventy is where we could see that as a as a one off catch weight glory fight where Habib can you know fight GSP and not run the risk of losing his title and and George St Pierre could fight Habib running the risk of uh, being forced to pass the torch that would be a true passing of the torch matchup because both guys have known each other for a while. Beeb's still very young. George is a little bit older. I'd be like, hey, it's your turn now. It's your turn now. Go back down to 155 and and take that division. Maybe they would let George fight at 155 in a title defense. I don't know, but I think if Habib won versus Connor, he would definitely want that big catchweight fight versus GSP because he's talked about it before. I'm Ryan Thomas, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care.